this is the first part of a liposuction basically well not the first because we do your history your labs and everything before that but inside the operating room it's a lot of marking so this is max max is going to tell me what bothers her about her arms well doctor my arms have always bothered me because it's so hard for me to lose weight in my arms so mm -hmm. everything else do it but it's on a1 yeah so, so i really need your help <laughs> okay is there anything in particular that you don't like or you just want the whole arm smaller i just want the whole arm smaller yeah <laughs> basically i just want it smaller yeah okay so this is what i say the arms are very resistant to any non-surgical um, modality maybe we're successful in making it smaller doing an on the v contour but it's very rare i would say only 30 percent of the people will respond to a non-surgical thing for the arms unlike the stomach or the thighs we get 80 percent success there non-surgically but of course liposuction is still the gold standard but for the arms i always tell them when they come in just lipo your arms you're going to end up with me anyway but of course they all go i want non-surgical can i try and then they always say Okay, I'll have a lipo. But Max, you never tried any of the non-surgical options? I tried, but they take so long. Uh -huh. Like, so I don't want to wait. I'm mm -hmm. impatient, ako, so parang, let's just do it. <laughs> and how much do you work out? I work out every day. Oh, almost, okay. Almost every day. And what have you yeah. been doing for your arms? So a lot of um, toning with, like, sa Pilates. I've mm -hmm. been doing a lot of different exercises just to tone it but then uh -huh. naiiwan pa rin yung fat eh so, pero alam mo so for me sana mag live po ka muna before you work out kasi when I touch it it's medyo matigas oh, no. so it's hard for it's harder for me to do the live suction because it's it's matigas and you know it's harder because yeah. we want to make it smooth when it's very soft then it's easy to live suction but don't worry I'm so sanay tawag namin dito ay wings or pak pak right and then here we have so you relax so let me show you why bello uh, liposuction is different now a lot of other clinics will do liposuction and only do this okay i noticed that so the reason we call our liposuction 360 degrees 360 liposuction is because we lipo the whole arm we don't do just the back because if you just do the back you will see she's also big on the side not big but bigger and so she will look in front on the side, she will look thin, and then when you look forward, she still looks big. Yes. Especially when you take out the, the fat in the back, a lot of it will, when she gets fat in the arms, it will go here. So it's very important to do 360, okay? So let me show you how we mark. So I pinch a lot, right? But this is going to be the whole arm, so... So sometimes, and some people will like with their forearm as well. But in her case, wala naman, there's just no fat, so we won't touch that. So relax. Tingnan mo naman ang tone. Give me your bicep. Oh, meron na. Pati, pukita mo. Pagyabang mo. Ready. Oh, yan. Chigas. Okay. So, we need her to super shake relax. it. And be relaxed. Now, we go inside. Now, this is the problem for most people. You know, she's only 30. So, not much in terms of jiggly arms. But, yes, a lot in terms of taba. So this is where most people like, they just do this, which is usually the biggest part anyway, but it's not the only part. So in Bella, we, we, also, we do a lot here, but of course we do want this one. The thing with arms is it's so important to go to someone with a lot of experience because it has to look normal but smaller. Mm. And the great thing about our, our incisions is that they're so small. Unlike other doctors, sometimes they use these big tubes. I'll show you later how small our cannulas are. So we'll mark the other side. Okay, we're ready to go. Weird. Mas marami siyang taba on the right. Normally, mas marami taba sa left. Kasi yung right-handed, ano ka ba? Right-handed. Right-handed. Yeah. Pero mas marami taba dito. Weird. Oh, oh weird siya. That's oh, weird so siya. Weird. Uh -oh. Hi everyone! You know, there's been a new phenomenon that I've seen in the last five years where girls are really empowered and then they support each other. Because when I was younger, actually there's a lot of competition among women and although women were close, but when it comes to lalaki. <laughs> but now, wala nang ganon. Everybody's really together. They support each other. They help each other become the best people they can be. And one of these um, groups that I've seen is a very interesting group composed of 
beautiful girls with very different personalities. And today we're going to liposuction one of them because she's finally gotten frustrated after working out for I don't know how long that her arms are still big. And the other one, of course, is her favorite Bello baby who's been with us for 15 years. Barkada sila, and they call it, I don't know, we'll ask them. Please welcome to my YouTube vlog, Max Collins and Rian Ramos. Okay, Yay! come here, close, close, close. Kunyari, kasama na ako. Oh, so ngayon, si Max magpapalipo. And she asked her stage mom, her adopted mom. <laughs> yeah, my adopted mom. Are you younger? Mom. No, you just you are a couple Around of years older. Yeah, yeah, a couple years older. So, ano, tell me how this happened. How did you decide to have a liposuction? Have you been thinking about it? I've been it? thinking about it for a long time. And, you know, since I'm a mom, after giving birth, I never really did something for myself. So, oh. this is something, I guess, to make me feel better about myself in a way. I feel like it's something that I've always wanted to do. And I told Ri about that. And Ri's like, just do it. <laughs> She was really so She supportive. missed just doing yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you like that? So are you very different personalities? Uh, a little bit. A li oh yeah, we are we're actually. We're similar naman in some, some ways. ways. Like whatever complexes showbiz has given us. <laughs> <laughs> no. I get it. But also me, I'm such a big advocate for if something bothers you, just get it done. Because sometimes you can't see all of the wonderful things about you. Because when you look at the mirror, your eyes keep gravitating to what you think your problem area is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you're diminished to that little problem mm -hmm. when Max has no other problems. I know, she's super Aww, sexy. Wait, like, actually, I would have thank never you, yeah. noticed her arms if she didn't mention that it bothers her. So since it bothers her and her eyes keep looking there when she looks at the mirror, she doesn't see her beautiful face. Aww. She doesn't see her beautiful it's torso. It's torso it's just, just, just my big arms. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember when I had love handles, I felt the same. So. Mm. You keep thinking about it. Yeah, and it's it like just... you can't look anywhere else. You yeah. just look at the problem area. So they say like on a whiteboard, you look at the black dot. Be it like small, that. that's what you look at. Yeah. So just get rid of it. Just do it. Just do it. I no. think it's really empowering to just, if you have one problem area that just doesn't seem to be going away, just do it. No, so, so these four girls, tell me about your group and how it got together. So who are the people that... You call yourselves, I uh, know, the girls' room? The, girl. the girls' room. The girls' room. room. One so, guy. You know how sometimes, <laughs> yung nagiging name ng group nyo, kung ano lang yung name ng chat room nyo sa, so, sa messaging like, yeah. app. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me who are the people in this group, ano, girls' room? In the girls' room. Who do we have in the girls' room? We have Michelle D. Yeah. We have Miss Universe Philippines. Yes. Namananalo, I think. Oh. Sandy Risho is also part of the girls' room. <laughs> and then, and matatawa kayo. Chris, no? Chris Nick. <laughs> Chris who ne? Kasama talaga yeah. siya. Paano no na Famous designer Chris. <laughs> Ibang iba. Yeah. Parang he's so quiet. Is he is he crazy? Because when he comes to the house and I have my clothes made with Chris, very poised, very yeah. ano. Actually, very shy at first. Yeah. Um, pareho kami quiet at first. Tapos pag nakilala mo na ang kulit kulit. Yeah. That's when you <laughs> so si Rian kasi, um, she's always been not really having a lot of girlfriends, tiba. Right? Yeah. Because uh, she's shy, so she lets the guys go after her. <laughs> Medyo, why didn't you have friends who were girls for such a long time? <laughs> I think I mean it's, close it's, friends. Huh? Are like, no, my guy. Growing up, because I was always the kid, not every year I was in a new school. Um, I went through bullying and had different reasons for transferring. So I always got used to eating alone. I never went up to people anymore. Uh, I had. Wala, nahiya lang ako to make friends, so I just didn't. And I was, I thought I was fine, like. It didn't really bother me. So when I entered my new school, the showbiz, I was like that also. I was not really approaching anyone. Um, I did have Bianca King though. She was my long time, uh, she still is, my long time best friend. Um, and then she moved away during the pandemic or before the pandemic. So I was like, oh, I'm really alone now. <laughs> And then we all met and became super close. Yeah. And it's my first time to have like a big female support system, which we all know is really good for our health yeah. as women. 
about our mental health. Yeah. Our mental health. And because health, yeah. because that's not common, like like you said earlier, doctor. Now usually nagsisira ni mga girls, but like with us, we really support each other. No, if you want to have lipo, do it because it will make you feel better about yourself and like whatever. So nagising to nang six thirty pa to be. Yeah, so <laughs> late nga ako. Nagising ako no. oh, seven forty five. Okay, after that ten minutes, so nila very near. And you you've always had girlfriends, so you want you're like Korean. Um, you know? in showbiz, I haven't really like. Um, I don't put myself out there to make friends as 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 much in showbiz. I think a little more than Ri. I'm not as um, I'm not as lonely. No, lonely. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, man. No, I'm Honestly, more. I'm, I'm more afraid. outgoing. Sorry, sorry. I'm not. I'm more outgoing. Um, but then I don't really have that many close friends in showbiz. But then it became um, something else. Like when we all met and we got close because um, it transcended from showbiz to even in our personal lives like we became super close and that's why even like when it comes to each other's careers we're always there to support each other which is something new for me mm -hmm. so like now you woke up at 6 30 just to be here for me and just like little things we're with each other almost like every day so it's really you a different together bond. don't you Max lives. Uh, Max nearby. lives a few houses away from us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the same village. Though. Same village. Yeah. So you go there every morning. Um, when does every it morning, begin? You see each other almost every day. Like um in the afternoon or something. Uh, yeah, like afternoon yeah. or night or depending morning, on our depends. work schedules. Like yeah. I actually live with Michelle, but because she's so busy right now, I hardly see her. Mm. I see Max once in a while. You know, Max is the kind of person that if she knows you're sad about something, she'll go to your house, bring you coffee, um, force you to talk about it, even if you don't feel. But as in, she'll she'll mom you. What's it like to have, since you're new at this, having <laughs> women friends in your life? How has it? I mean, what's the difference between not having women friends and just having guys adore you, <laughs> and then having women friends? I think men and women, I mean, as as equal as we are in value, we're very different mm -hmm. animals. Like we have very different kinds of conversations and and with women parang we are more detailed when we talk about everything. Mm -hmm. Like we really want to give our friend the full experience as if it was them so yes. that the advice they give us is on point also. So um the concern is different. The understanding for your feelings mm -hmm. is different. Um, there's less pretending to be okay. Ah. I think that's what I noticed is, is different. Parang, I think if I'm having a conversation with a guy friend, a lot of me is still kind of pretending to be okay and strong and also parang pantay, like a little masculine. Mm. When I'm with them, naman, like I can be the ugliest crying mess she's never ugly and i know that they're still gonna love me and Aww, like hold my sweet. hand and be like you want to do this i'll go with you you want to <laughs> do that i'll do it with you you know what it's like the playgirl here in the showbiz not playgirl but the ones that are so fast so one is rian and the other one Reputation is love. Po. Ah, so, the two is love. 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 The two is person in time every person who wants to better themselves will mm. like with with time and practice and consistency it's a habit you should read the book atomic habits very good but good. about the lipo i thought about it it's been it's been a, like a long time because i've actually had lipo before oh, okay. so so which i don't talk about so surprise but anyway <laughs> um i've had it done before but but that was a very very long time ago and then after having a kid um, I still tried to lose the weight here naturally, but I so mm. that's why I needed to see you now. And after Rian um, empowering me <laughs> to be the best version of myself, I felt like it's the right time. It's now or never. And how are you feeling right now? I feel empowered. I feel great. I but feel a little like, scared, I'm sure. Um, no, I was scared before she arrived, but now oh. seeing her beautiful face makes me feel so much better. I just feel like um, I'm, I'm at home. Aww. And yeah, I'm, I'm more excited actually than I am nervous. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Maybe in 10 minutes, I'll say something else. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ready to go. We will see the transformation of the arms. Because Max already works out. You do everything right, right? You work out. Yeah. What about the eating part? Um, I eat pretty well, but I could diet better. Okay, but you know, no matter what you do, I promise you, the arms will stay. You can be already be like this, but your arms are still big. So you only have one choice to have liposuction. And of course, if it's liposuction, who is the choice? <laughs> only Bello. Yeah. Only Bello touches these arms. Only yeah. Bello touches these arms. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, Bye. Take care. Bye. I'm going up now. Okay guys, so here we are in the OR and I'm kind of nervous, actually not really to be honest, I'm not that nervous yet. Um, I'm more excited because Max 2.0 is coming and I'm just excited to see the results actually. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So let's go inside, it's time. Hi guys, I just finished my surgery and I am still a little groggy from the anesthesia but I just want to sleep. Um, it's a good feeling because I don't feel any pain right now and um, I just feel super relaxed and yeah, I can still move my arms naman so um, I think that I'm excited to see what's underneath the binder and yeah. <laughs> it was a good experience overall. <laughs>